guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a ColourPop lip breakdown guide. ColourPop has so many lip families, lip products, finishes, formulations now that when you are a first time buyer to ColourPop, it can be pretty confusing, pretty overwhelming. So I'm here today to help and guide you through the ColourPop world. I do have my little love bug here. He was already sitting here when I set up to film, so I thought I would just leave him. You might see him pop up here and there, but he loves like sitting on these chairs because he likes leaning his face against something, which is so cute and so human-like. Like he likes leaning his face like on a pillow or something, um, but yeah. Cookie Lovebug is here. I do want to say that this video inspiration came from a Japanese YouTuber. She just popped up on my YouTube like recommendation and she did it on 3CE. I don't want to butcher her name so I'm just going to put it on the screen here. But she pretty much reviewed like every lip product from 3CE and that's where I got this video idea from. So I will leave her video in a card somewhere here and also down below. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into the the ColourPop lip guide. So let's first start off with the lippy sticks because I believe this was ColourPop's first lip product and for a while this is what they were known for like the lippy sticks and the super shock eyeshadows. So the four finishes that they have is Creme Satin Matte and Matte X and you might be asking what is the difference. So the best way for me to describe it is if you're gonna take the creme finish, just title that as like level one, the satin level two, the matte level three, and then matte X is a level four. They are all sort of similar when it comes to the creme, satin, and matte. So I would say level one, the creme, it is very creamy, very like, buttery, um, very hydrating on the lips. The lippy stick formulation is beautiful. It's very pigmented, beautiful shades, and it's really easy to apply because it's in the stick, it's retractable. So the creme finish is quite creamy, and maybe for some people, you might not like that. You might find it pretty heavy on the lips and a little bit too thick. For me personally, um, just my preference when it comes to lip products, I don't like matte products. I like creamy, hydrating lip products because my lips are first very sensitive and also very dry. So that's just my preference. So I do like the creme finish, but I can see not everybody loving the creme finish because it can be quite thick, but that's not really a big deal to me. Then we go one level up to level two, which is the satin finish. And the satin is just a little bit less creamy and shiny than the creme finish. It's actually really, really similar of how they feel on the lips and how it applies. Like it's actually pretty similar. It's just that the satin is just less shiny than the creme finish. And then when we bump up to level 3, the matte, the matte lippy stick is actually not a complete matte. I would say it's more of like a velvet finish. Um, it still has a bit of shine, it still has a bit of that creaminess, but it's not as shiny and creamy as the satin. So you're just kind of working your way up. But then when we come to level 4, the big boss, the matte X, the matte X is a complete matte. You will get the complete matte with that, but again, it's like very smooth on the lips. I don't know why when I think of like matte products I think of them to be very dry and they tug on your lips but this is not the case when it comes to the matte X it actually applies very smoothly not that I'm gonna wear it a lot because again not my preference when it comes to matte products but it is a comfortable matte product to wear and I think overall the lippy stick family is a really comfortable family to wear on your lips they actually had this box of all 48 lippy stick shades and I swatched all of them on my lips so I'm also gonna leave that in a card somewhere here and also down below for you guys because you can see all the shades and formulations on my lips but I only swatched four of them on my lips today for you. Next I want to talk about the lippy pencil and this is six US dollars. So in general I personally don't use lip pencils like ever. I just find it's an extra step that I personally don't find the need for and maybe I just haven't found the perfect lip pencil color for me personally because I feel like a lot of the lip pencils nowadays <laughs> I feel like a lot of the lip pencils nowadays is very brown and that's just not like my everyday color. I'm sure there is one that you guys are going to like drop down below and like you need to try this one out and I will try it out um, but I don't know, lip pencils, are, I don't know, I just don't really find a need for them but speaking about the ColourPop lip pencils or lippy pencils, they're amazing. I haven't tried too many to really say so much but from the ones that I have tried, for example, the MAC one when I used to use MAC when I wasn't cruelty free. 
the MAC lip pencils. I've tried one from LA Girl and I've also tried Kylie Jenner's lip pencils. So only three brands and I would say that the ColourPop ones are definitely up my alley because they are so creamy and so smooth. They don't tug on your lips. When I first tried the MAC ones, they are wooden pencils so they are like so dry and they tug on your lips. I just couldn't understand using MAC lip pencils. I never liked them. But the ColourPop lippy pencils are so smooth, so creamy. I think the only thing is because it's so creamy, you will have to like sharpen it like almost every time you use it because it's just so creamy that it like gets blunt really quickly. But if I was to wear a lip pencil, I definitely would be wearing the lippy pencil from ColourPop. I'm just gonna stick in the lippy family. So the next product I have is the lippy balm. This is six US dollars and they don't I don't have too many shades of these. I don't think it's a really popular product from ColourPop. Well, in my eyes, I feel like it's not a really popular item. Maybe not everybody knows that they have like a lip balm. And these are scented. This one is from their Peach Collection, I believe. I actually haven't used this one a lot. Again, my lips are very sensitive. I am very picky when it comes to lip care products. So lip balms, lip masks, like stuff like that. I'm very picky and I don't like lip care products that are scented because that can really irritate my lips. If you have been following me for the most part of 2020 in February my lips was not looking good like I just had this big irritation on my lips so after that I'm just like even more picky when it comes to my lip products and because it's a scented I find myself not wanting to use it as much but it is very hydrating it feels like the pawpaw ointment if you guys are familiar with that I think it is nice for six US dollars but um, for me and my lip problems I personally wouldn't use this one as much we also have the lippy scrub and this is eight US dollars again they don't have too many scents or shades of these lippy scrubs and I actually do remember mentioning this to you guys in a monthly favorites video and at one point I really did like this but I found that the more I used it it was irritating my lips because this is scented it does have a pretty strong fragrance I believe this was from their strawberry collection but it did like just sort of irritate my lips the more I used it but I think the formulation on the lippy scrub is actually quite nice the scrub is actually very gentle because the sugar particles are very small so it's not like very aggressive comparing it to like the lush lip scrub the lush lip scrub is very dry this one is more wet and the lush one the sugar particles are very thick and it's a little bit more aggressive and this one it is gentle so I feel like if you have ultra ultra sensitive lips then you might like this um, but it is scented so for me because it is scented I I just found that it was irritating my lip. This was actually in my empties bin and I had to take it out for this video. And since we're in the category of lip care products, they do have a lip mask. They only have one of this and this came with their Mulan collection. I don't know if this is going to be a thing they're going to keep releasing in the future because it just released with the Disney one. And when I filmed my Mulan collection, that was a time when I was having my lip a reaction breakout and I didn't really use it during that time because I didn't want to irritate my lips even more because this is scented it does have glitter in it like little specks of glitter so I didn't want to add the irritation onto my lip and ever since then my lips obviously have recovered they look normal now but I just haven't used this because I was just scared that it was going to irritate my lips but I did use it yesterday for the try on portion that you're probably looking at right now and it is very hydrating it's just I guess I'm very skeptical when it comes to lip care products that have you know you know, glitter and fragrance. I want my lip care products to be very natural, no scent. I would say it's pretty hydrating, but I can't give you a proper thorough review. I just want to let you guys know that they do have a lip mask. And now I want to move into the famous Ultra line. So there is four different categories under the Ultra family. So let's start off with the Ultra Glossy Lip. And under the Ultra Glossy Lip, I feel like there's like a subcategory when it comes to that. I don't know how it is now now but I guess like maybe in 2018 they had two different types of glosses so their original gloss that came in the Dofo applicator a very popular one Aquarius which is one of my favorites but that was like their original formulation and then I think in 2018 they came out with their high shine formulation that had a brush tip but now looking on their site and hearing it from you guys you guys told me that all of their glosses have the brush tip now and when I look on their site and 
and older shades that did have the doe foot applicator the description is the same so maybe all their formulation is the same now I'm not really too sure but that was just my perception back in the day I know this might be confusing to you guys and this is not really helpful to the guide but I do want to say there is two different types of glosses when it comes to the ultra glossy line so the first one is like just a lip gloss where it is quite sheer like it has that pigmentation but it is more of just like a gloss of your lips and it came in the doe foot applicator then we have the opaque gloss where it doesn't have too much glitter in it it is just like a very thick consistency of a gloss and it's like pretty opaque you don't really need to wear anything underneath like you could just wear it on its own and it's going to cover up your natural lip color I like both I like the doe foot I like the brush I would say I do like the doe foot a little bit better because with the brush tip it does cause like streaking on your lips but that's very avoidable you can just blot your lips out and the streakiness will disappear but I know a lot of you guys like the doe foot better um, but I guess there is a difference between the two it just comes to personal preference there's a time for both then I want to talk about the ultra blotted lip and this is a formulation I feel like that not many people know about and it was kind of swept under the bus and the people that know about ultra blotted lip really love it but I feel like it didn't get a lot of hype that it deserved because it's a really nice formulation it's going to give you that popsicle lip tint vibe and it does dry down to a matte finish there is another liquid lipstick that I'm going to mention that I'm going to reference to the ultra blotted lip but this one does dry down to a matte and I really like the finish it gives some other shades that I really love was like Zuma and Doozy back in the day but they haven't really released any new shades with the ultra blotted line I think it's a very natural lip color to wear and it's matte so I guess it's good for a long work day for example like you could just take this to work apply in the morning reapply it at lunch and it will pretty much last you throughout the day because it is a matte formulation and it looks very natural and then we have the ultra satin lip so the ultra line is all liquid lipsticks so the ultra satin to me is very comfortable it dries down to a satin finish as like the name says and it's very pigmented so if you like a liquid lipstick and you don't want it to be completely matte because you find that too drying then I would say go for the ultra satin and lastly we have the ultra matte lip so like I mentioned before that I personally don't really like matte lipsticks and specifically liquid lipsticks because I find that liquid lipsticks can be more drying because it's a liquid drying down and it can just kind of like squeeze all of the moisture out of your lips you will really ever see me use the ultra matte lip line but there is just one shade that I really love from the ultra matte line which is Ariba and that's I love Seta E's collab with Colourpop I feel like the only ultra matte lip colors that I like are the red they have multiple reds in their ultra ultra matte lip line and I do own a couple and I find that the reds don't dry out my lips they look perfectly fine they're actually sort of really comfortable but when it comes to any other color that's in the ultra matte line I'm just not for it and I just find them really uncomfortable but Ariba would have to be like my ultimate favorite ultra matte lip it's like the one that I could recommend to you guys so for me personally like if I'm going to choose the ultra matte or ultra satin I'm going to go for the ultra satin because it does give you that sort of same feeling but it's not a complete matte where it's dry. So now I have the So Juicy Gloss and this is $8. US dollars. If we were to compare this to the Ultra Glossy Lip that I just mentioned before, the So Juicy Gloss is going to be even juicier, even glossier. This makes your lips look so plump and just a little warning I guess, it does have that minty feeling. So when you apply it, you are going to get that cooling, tingling sensation on your lips and if you have very, very sensitive lips that could you know make you not want to buy this at all you might want to avoid that so just keep that in mind that it does have a scent to it and it does have that minty feeling because I know so many people don't like that feeling but it is going to like almost plump up your lips a little bit I don't know how accurate that is but it gives you that feeling that your lips look even bigger and juicier because of how high shine and glossy this is but yeah I really do like these honestly I don't use them that much I kind of want to put some in my top drawer again and start using them again I just kind of like neglected them for a little bit and the next family I want to tackle is the Lux family and within the Lux family there is different types of Lux formulations and there's like other subcategories in that so we'll start off with the first member of the Lux family which is the Lux lipsticks and if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I love these I was collecting like all the shades and then I kind of lost track of what was new and what wasn't but these lipsticks are just chef's kiss so yeah these are their first like traditional bullet lipsticks and within the Lux lipstick family there are three different finishes so we have the creme the velvet blur and then the matte so we'll start off with the original creme finish because 
you know, we always gotta start with the original and where it began. And the lip color that I'm showing you here is a layover. I have raved about layover so many times. I believe I made a lot of you guys buy layover because I talked about it so highly. And it's still a lip product that I really, really do love. I haven't been wearing it as much as I used to, but it's still a lip color that I still refer to. And the formulation on the Luxe lipstick and the cream finish specifically, it's very hydrating. Like if you want the lippy sticks, but not as creamy, me and like thick, you would really love the Luxe lipsticks. I think the cream finish is just so beautiful. It gives you like a very beautiful set and finish. Then we have the Velvet Blur and the Velvet Blur is very comfortable as well. It gives me the vibe of the Ultra Blotter Lip but in a dry bullet form. So if you like the Ultra Blotter Lip and you like the effect that it gives you, then you'll probably really like the Velvet Blur. I actually prefer the Velvet Blur because it's just easier to hold a lipstick than a liquid lipstick in my opinion. Um, they have some very, very beautiful shades. I like to blot it out with my finger to even blur out my lips even more and give that diffused look. And then we have the matte finish. The matte finish is also very beautiful. It doesn't tug on your lips like a MAC lipstick, for example. I feel like the MAC lipsticks, they were just so dry that they tugged on your lips so bad. And these don't tug on your lips. They are very smooth, but it's going to give you that complete matte finish. Um, so the Luxe Family overall, there isn't a formulation that I really don't like because I think the Luxe Family is just beautiful. And then then we have the Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Recently, I have been just loving these. This is more of like a recent launch. I believe it launched late last year. Pretty new compared to the Ultra line. It does, again, remind me of the Ultra Bottle Lip, but the Ultra Bottle Lip, it's a matte finish. And this one, just like the name says, it's like a velvet satin finish. So it's not gonna dry down to like a complete, complete matte. It's going to have a little bit of a satin-ish finish, but it's long wearing and it's going to last you throughout the day. The Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick has become one of my new favorite formulations from ColourPop. Like, I haven't been able to put it down. I just love how it looks on the lips. It's just comfortable. It doesn't emphasize the lines and the dryness of your lips. Just an overall amazing fluffy formulation. And then the last member of the Lux family is the Lux Gloss. I think for those of you guys that don't really like a gloss because you find them too sticky, you don't like the shine, I think the Lux Gloss is a good way to go because it does have like a very giant don't foot applicator that you can easily apply without a mirror but it's also not sticky where like well none of their glosses are very that sticky I think the most sticky one is the so juicy but when you put your lips together like this it does not feel sticky. Your lips are not gonna stick together. It almost feels like a hydrating lip balm, like a lip oil almost. Honestly, I can't really choose between the Lux Gloss and the Ultra Glossy Lip. I do like both because I'm just a gloss junkie. Okay, and for the last product we have is the Just A Tint Lip Crayon. And I guess I saved the best for last because the Just A Tint Lip Crayons are my favorite formulation from ColourPop. I think this is is just what I need. It's the perfect everyday lip product to wear. They have the most beautiful shades in this line as well. Perfect, again, perfect for work, perfect for a gradient lip, for just anything you could possibly want. It is a tint, so it feels like a tinted lip balm. It's very hydrating. The scent on these just smells so delicious. It doesn't irritate my lips. It gives you a very nice finish. It's not too shiny, but it gives you that shine. Perfect, most comfortable lip product to wear. I cannot recommend the Just A Tint Lip Crayons enough. You can see mine, the name has like completely rubbed off. Like it just literally says NT on it because everything else has rubbed off because I've used this so much. So that you guys was every single lip formulation that ColourPop has to offer as of right now. I hope you guys found that guide helpful and it was a little bit easy to take on. I know I said some things that might have made you more confused, but hopefully you guys found this guide helpful and it can help you decide which formulation is made for you. And I thought I would just talk about my favorite formulations in case you didn't pick it up from my little guide. I would say my top top recommendations would have to be the Just A Tint Lip Crayons, the Luxe Velvet Look at Lipsticks, the Luxe Gloss, the ultra glossy lips and also the Lux lipsticks I would say are like my top top favorites and the ones that I use constantly I'm excited to see what other lip categories they're going to release in the future I definitely want to see more shades in the just a tint line and the Lux velvet line Lux gloss line I kind of want to see like a lip tint like an actual liquid lip tint or a lip oiled. I think that would be really nice as well. And I also want to see, I guess, more lip care products that don't have so many scents and 
fragrance in it. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below, like what do you guys want to see from ColourPop, from their lip range. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below, let me know if this guide was helpful. And if you guys did find this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. It also helps me out with the algorithm and just getting my videos out there to more people to help out when they are purchasing. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already. Cookie kind of disappeared. Bye! Bye! I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!